Welcome to Symbirian. We develop and distribute Symbior electromagnetic signal integrity software. This demo shows how to do crosstalk analysis in Symbior THZ. I'll do pre-layout analysis of a channel uh, that uh, has four differential strip line links, two parallel links in each direction with 10 gigabit per second data rate. I'll plot multiple disturber crosstalk and then define link lengths and strip spacing to comply with um, integrated crosstalk noise defined by this IEEE standard. And the compliance curve for this standard is shown here. It's insertion loss versus uh, ICN, and this is a um, compliance area. And finally, I'll, I will compute and plot I diagrams with crosstalk. First, I will create new solution, a solution create creation wizard, and use signal configurator solution. Um, 10 gigabit per second with uh, 40 picosecond rise time. Um, define time domain analysis as for bit stream with bit stream parameters defined here with optional jitter. Um, redefine time sweep to have uh, longer simulation time for I diagram analysis. Um, redefine frequency sweep to have more frequency points and more resolution. Okay, and uh, we finish and create project with default uh, stack up for strip line. Default stack up as um, generic FR4, uh, and thickness of the layers I will make them thicker to have um, realistic width of the strips. So now I'm ready to create transmission line, and I'll create uh, differential strip line with uh, 100 ohm impedance as a target and round off some numbers here uh, and still 100 ohm, uh, about 100 ohm. Um, the shape of the strip can be also redefined if necessary. Um, this is cross section. Uh, I'll use Symbior SFS uh, quasi-static field solver to do the analysis which is recommended for crosstalk analysis. Run the analysis. And this is my cross section. Um, so, next step is um, multiply those strips and I'll just copy and paste to have uh, eight strips total for this um, link. Um, right now they are all overlapping with the last strip uh, and optionally I can open uh, strip properties and uh, redefine the position if I know exactly what I'm, uh, I need to achieve. Um, another option is to do it with uh, a SciTune pen, SciTune tool. And right here I'll bring this simulation here and transmission line cross section, complete one. And you can see that uh, right here I have widths, um, tunable um, distance between the strips. So I'll redefine distance slightly and it will create automatically um, and I use this to see the cross section exactly. And it will automatically distribute strips center to center uh, distance defined here. I uh, need um, distance uh, within differential pair defined as 15 um, back to original and distance between diff pairs and this is distance between this uh, here and here. Um, I already define it uh, as 25 for very, very close spacing. So now we are ready to, uh, and I delete the simulation here. Now we are ready to uh, simulate a segment of such transmission line with, um, ex with relatively high coupling and see how it goes. So to do this, I create a linear network and we'll call it five inch link. Okay. And um, bring this cross section here. Um, define length as uh, five inch and use split port option. Split port option immediately create a single uh, port for, uh, for each uh, trace. So now I, I need to um, unite them back into differential pairs. And this is, can be done with consecutive numeration, with any numeration you want. So I'll use consecutive numeration and um, uh, link them to IOs consecutively. Create IO, 
to the side. This I/O I will redefine source as a bit stream, and this is going to be side A, and this is going to be transmitter. Okay. Uh, next, I will um, copy, paste it, and I'll use consecutive numeration. So I'll create them consecutively on this side and this on the and then on this side. Um, this is going to be receiver and no source side A. Next, I copy paste, uh, wire it, and copy paste wire receiver. This is it for this end. On the other end, the same thing. Create uh, splitter first. Bring uh, IOS that split it on one side and uh, combined on the other side. Wire um, IOS with lower numbers to lower numbers on here. Uh, create and this is going to be on this side. Uh, receiver, no source, and this is side B, and this is receiver. Okay, next, this is um, side B, transmitter, and they're going to be bit stream. Bit streams can be optionally um, defined as asynchronous with any delay and so on. So the rest is just copy pasting and wiring it properly. And final one. I need this transmitter. Just um, copy paste and wire. This is it. This is our circuit. Now we are ready to add new simulation. And Plot the results um, on new graph, and I'll plot power sum cross talk. And with transmitter receiver defined, it, it is going to be multiple disturber cross talk here, nothing on the other axis. And I obviously need mix mode. Click finish, and I'll um, uh, use diagonal elements here and run simulation. After simulation is done, you'll see power some cross talk in here. And we can see some cross talk went to zero, and this is uh, cross talk for uh, common mode. So I just delete all those. And um, the, now I see that, uh, and I put a marker here for this maximal cross talk, uh, 18 dB. And this is for D2, D2, as expected. Uh, D2, D2 has uh, more crosstalk, and on the other hand, D7, D7 also, this one, is um, overlapping with D2, D2. Oh, um, okay, next step is to basically reduce it. Uh, but before doing this, I'll check the compliance metrics. Uh, I'll use ICN analyzer. In ICN analyzer, I can define compliance mask. And this is defined as um, in all specifications here. Um, ICN computation parameters defined here. Um, uh, select the circuit to do this and then uh, click calculate. And you can see that uh, our receiver supports 2, 4, 5 and 7 all failed. All failed because of cr uh, large in uh, integrated crosstalk noise right here. We can see it uh, clearly. Um, it also shows near end crosstalk, fine crosstalk. Most of the crosstalk is near end crosstalk. This is strip line configuration. So I close it and now I can um, optimize or tune for crosstalk. I bring 5 inch link simulation. Again, bring this um, transmission line cross section into a side tune. Uh, close this circuit, split uh, window, just to see both simultaneously. And um, I will optimize uh, distance between diff pairs. Um, and um, auto simulate option is on. So if I define like 40 uh, mil distance, and you can see that uh, right here we have larger distance between diff pair. Uh, now I end up um, 
with a um, few graphs here, but uh, the largest cross talks uh, is for uh, two, and um, and we can due to symmetry we can check just two. So we can see here that cross talk went down from 18 minus 18, 18 dB to minus 40, 42 dB, and this is um, uh, original accumulated result and this is a uh, new result. So if I clean curves I see that just the last results for all the ports and you can see um, the crosstalk went substantially down which is expected. So the last step is um, check versus compliance metrics. Again I open ICN analyzer, click calculate and see all metrics passed. And the final step here is to compute um, I diagram and to do this all I need is just to build rational compact model and compute time domain response matrix uh, with stimulus sources defined and external IO. Click OK, click OK, run analysis. The analysis is done, all I need is just to plot the I diagram and um, time domain response uh, Unit interval skip 100 of bits, uh, cross talk, select cross talk, mixed mode, and plot I diagram for 5 lean circuit and pick up elements. Um, there should be diagonal elements here, and uh, I'll plot cro um, I diagram with cross talk for ports 2, 4, 5, and 7. Click next, finish. And also I diagram, they are pretty much um, the same. Uh, optionally I can um, open an I analyzer and uh, check the I metrics here. Click calculate, I so center it and we can see I metrics um, uh, in this table. And we can see that the uh, I widths and height uh, are pretty much identical for channels. So just out of curiosity we can recompute all this stuff with um, 25 mil distance between diff pair. I just change it and click enter and uh, wait. After analysis is done we can see much different uh, eye diagram uh, and again I can um, bring eye analyzer and uh, well um, Recompute the I matrix uh, here. Click calculate. Now we can see that I width uh, and I height um, quite different, slightly different um, for channel um, 2 and um, uh, 7. This is the end of this presentation. To learn more, visit Symbirian.com. Application notes, um, webinars, and knowledge base sections. Or download and try Symbior now. It is available in download section. Thank you.